Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Fate Stay Night. Previously, Shiro went out grocery shopping and ran into Ilya, who, instead of killing him brutally, uh, just invited him to sit with her on a bench at a park, and they talked a bit, but then she had to run off because apparently Berserker woke up and she needed to attend to him, so, uh... Then Shiro came home, didn't tell anyone about her, and then absolutely nothing happened, and then uh, Shiro went to go visit Rin in her room, and she's going to teach him magic, so that's very nice. We left off with Rin explaining more about how her uh, storing magic, en magic energy into gems works, and then Shiro started telling her that he has no magical circuit, so let's see what happens next, shall we? Tosaka, haven't you realized that I don't have a magic crest? No way! I wouldn't have let you go out by yourself if I'd known. Well, it's true that I thought you were unskilled, but if you don't have a magic crest, you're not even a magus. Wait, oh. Is the magic crest different from magic circuit? I think I was just combining that in my head the entire time. So what is a magic crest then? It's still something that the parent passes down to the child, but... She gives me a complaining look with a humph. But what is it? Her words have a warmness that sound like relief, and it sounds as if she's envious that I'm not a Magus. Uh, well, in that case, I'll explain things to you from the very beginning. Understanding the magic crest means understanding magi. Alright, you sit there. It's an important lesson, so listen up. Yes, ma'am. Here's fine? Alright, go ahead. I look into Tosaka's eyes with determination. She must appreciate my seriousness as she nods in satisfaction. Then I'll start off with something simple. You know that magical energy is what you need to use magic, right? You can actually refer to anything that can activate magic as magical energy. There's an infinite variety of magical energy. There are some that perform magic using the force of will. And there are some that use magic by, pr by paying a price other than themselves. You know this much, right? Yeah, you mean the mana, large source, and the odd, small, small, small source, right? The large source is the magical energy in the world that fills nature. The small source is the magical energy that people can create themselves. That's right, well done. Then, let's start with the magic that uses the large source. Okay, Magi without a long history, like you, Shiro, 
use something that has already、uh, that already has form to make magical energy. This is a method established as a process in ancient times, using offerings and rituals to make contact with the divine mystery. They prepare a price to pay since their powers are not sufficient. This is called the formal craft. This way, magic can be activated even if the caster's magical energy is sparse. This is because the magical energy used comes not from the caster, but from somewhere else, so the caster only needs to perform the ritual. Ah! Well, that sounds, sounds like Shiro can actually do some cool things if he learns how. That's nice. But, well, you can't do it if you don't have the knowledge. It's impossible for you right now, and anyway, such a bloody method doesn't suit you. Yeah, I guess it's like animal sacrifice, human sacrifice. Dana. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Right. I also don't want to sacrifice a chicken or spend the whole evening praying in a magic circle. Right? Right? Then, putting that aside, next is the small source. So, in other words, magic that is cast using the Magi's own power. I don't think I need to explain, but this is the basic use of magic for someone like you and me. Your strengthening is a magic that relies on your own magic circuit, not on borrowing anyone else's power, right? I nod. It seems the conversation is going into the main point. その自分だけの魔力を生成する機能。魔術回路っていうのは先祖代々受け継がれる遺伝体質なの。Well, the function that creates magical energy for you, the magic circuit, is a hereditary constitution. The magic circuit is trained over many generations and passed on to the descendants, becoming more powerful. The child of a Magi lineage is already fit to use magic just because of that. It's not fair, but it means we're different from the start. I know that. I don't care, so you can continue on. I don't really care either, but. まあいいわそれでねそういった魔術回路とは別にその家系が代々鍛え上げてきた秘伝の魔術っていうのがあるのよ。Oh well. Anyways, other than this magic circuit, there is also a secret magic that the family trains over the generations. さっきの宝石と似てるかな一つの魔術を極めるとね魔術師にはその魔術が手に取れるようになるの。It's kind of like that jewel earlier. Once one masters a magic, Omegas can put their hands on that magic. Say what? Do you know the feeling of putting your hands on a magic that is naturally just formulas and has no shape? No? I don't know. 
I don't know, but I assume it's like it's part of your body if you can put your hands on it. This sounds like... An ancestor masters a magic so completely, and they can pretty much cast it with their eyes closed, and it's the easiest thing in the world, just natural as breathing, or even more so, then that natural skill gets passed on, and the descendants can also be just as skilled, or nearly as skilled, in casting that specific magic that was mastered? Is that what this is? Gometo. Exactly. The magic that goes beyond the level of formulas and becomes part of yourself can be left in a form. It is a great deed that establishes an unstable magic, and at the same time, it is proof that the Meg has existed. で、魔術師は死ぬ間際に自分が成し得た偉業を刻印として後継者に譲るのよ。これをやるから自分が成し得なかった地点に到達しろ。もしかしたらわしが残した刻印が何かの役に立つかもしれんってね。And the Magus, on the verge of death, hands down this great accomplishment in a crest. Like saying, I give you this to reach the realms I could never reach. Perhaps this crest I will give you might offer some help. That's, that's a cool concept. Well, the one handing it down and the one receiving both know the crest is of no help, though. What? What? It's such a great crest, and yet it's useless? It is useful. If you're a normal magus, it's so useful that one, quest, that one crest will provide you ease and comfort. But, well, it's like inheriting the car. No matter how fast you can travel on the ground, you can never reach the moon. <laughs> okay, that really tells us what kind of person Rin is. She's shooting for the moon. It doesn't matter, so let's get back to the topic at hand. I think you already know, uh, know by now, but this crest is the magic crest. What, the cross on her shirt? The head of the family puts the magic he devoted his life to, uh, into, Oh, oh, yeah, devoted his life to into that crest and passes it on, and the descendant completes another magic increasing the crest and passes it on again. It grows more complex like that, and a deep history is engraved into it. That's the magic crest. A chain that the Megas cannot free themselves from. Oh. So, everything about that family is recorded in the Magic Crest? Oh, that's wrong. Oh, that's wrong. The record of the family is naturally left on paper. Only magic is in the magic crest. Good to know. It can cast spells automatically and allow you to use magics that you have not acquired yet. Ooh. 
自分の体に魔法陣を刻んでいるようなものかな To put it simply, it's like carving a magic circle onto your body. So, I'm not sure if you're a person who's 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 a p e That's not the way it works. The magic crest is like a living thing. It's almost like transplanting organs. Ah. Ah. 結局、分けても機能しなくなるだけなんだから。There's usually only one of an organ, so you can't give it away to numerous people or make copies of it. There's no point in dividing the heart into two, right? Even if you separate it, it just stops functioning. あ、うん、そうか。確かに。それじゃあ、遠坂にも、その刻印は移植されてるのか。Ah,、oh, hmm. I see, you're right. Then you had that crest transplanted into you, too. I guess the term transplant was a bad example. In my case, it's on my left arm from my shoulder to my hand. But the magic crest won't show up unless I use it, so there's no need to hide it, un- unlike the command spell. Ah. I was about to theorize that maybe Kuritsugu could have left it hidden somewhere in the house, like, like under a floorboard or something. But. It doesn't really sound like it's a physical object. Maybe he did pass it on to Shiro, and Shiro just doesn't know at all. Hmm. I wonder if there's like a way to check if you do have a magical crest. Like, it could be that Shiro just doesn't know he has one. Well, that's not the case. The magic's connection is. So, well, that's why a family of magi succeeded by only one descendant. If the family happens to produce brothers or sisters, It is common for the rest of them to live normally without learning about magic. Since you can't give them the magic crest, there is not much point even if they succeed as a magus. Yeah, Shinji was saying that too. I see, so that's why they didn't teach Sakura. Yes, but the inheritance of the crest itself stopped a few generations ago in the Mato family. So I assume Shinji was only taught knowledge of magic. Uh, really, that type are the most troubling. They can't feel magic, but they still try to use it. Cursing in a disappointed manner, Tosaka takes a deep breath. Well, I was supposed to teach you magic, but the plans changed. 
I'll have to come up with a different plan if you don't have a magic crest. Oh, let's go here tonight. I'll be here for a Yeah, let's call it quits for tonight. I'll prepare some things for tomorrow, so please wait until then. Oh. Huh. Well, okay. I wonder what she has planned. I can only agree, but what do you mean by preparing some things? Just some things. If you don't have a crest, you can't switch, right? We're going to tamper inside your body, so we need drugs and medical tools and things. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa. I really felt a chill there. What? I'll stop if you don't want to. But in that case, there'll be nothing I can teach you. Uh, no. I don't want to, but please, you're probably correct. Well, I don't know what she meant by the word switch, but I think the fact that I can't do so is related to the fact that I always fail when trying to turn myself into a magic circuit. Then tomorrow's plans decided. Wait, so, like, what if... What if Shiro does get an advantage from whatever this plan is? And it'll, it'll be like Rock Lee tur uh, taking off the weighted armor. Or not armor, weighted uh, sacks from his legs. Oh man, Shiro's gonna be good at magic, isn't he? <laughs> well, one can hope. So, Oh, yeah, are you going to be training with Saber again tomorrow? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm also worried about the boundary field at school, but there's still time until it's activated. I want to be able to fight at least a bit by then. So, well, but... Well, that's fine, but it seems you aren't getting along with Saber too well in spite of that. Uh, that's, uh... You guys were talking normally before dinner, but you've been silent since dinner time. I'm asking to make sure, but everything's all right between you two, right? If you guys disagree during a battle, I'm going to suffer as well. Oh, Rin. <laughs> Poor, naive Rin. Ugh. Oh. It's just that there was a small thing before dinner, and it's just a bit awkward. What are you talking about small? That butt was huge. That, that's all, but are things really all right between me and Saber? Well, I think I know a bit about Saber, having trained with her all day, to, all today. I can trust Saber as an ally. That's absolute. But if you ask me how do I think of her beyond that, I can't readily answer. First of all, I... All my proper emotions were stolen away at that instant. That's a difficult question. 
How about you, Tosaka? Do you like Saber? I like her. There's no reason not to like her. She's strong, well mannered, and beautiful. She's so different from my cynical guy. I see, so you like Saber. What? I just said she's the kind of person I like. You should stop saying things so directly. You'll make more enemies that way. I refuse. I hate being indirect like you, and I'm a poor talker by nature. そうでしょうよ。嫌味とか皮肉とか口にしなさそうだものね、シロは。ええ、どうせ私のことなんて口うるさい嫌味なやつだとか思ってるでしょう。I assume so. You don't seem like the kind to be sarcastic or cynical. Yeah, I bet you think of me as a loud, annoying person, right? Okay, okay, Shiro? Shiro, you, you have both hands on a shovel, and the tip of your shovel is just this close to breaking the dirt. And, uh, do anything else here. You might just go ahead and dig the rest of the grave. Uh, why? I like the way you say things. It wouldn't seem like you if you weren't like that. I can't tell if he saved it, but that's probably the best thing he could have said. Oh. Tosaka looks away from me unpleasantly. I might have angered her. <laughs> well, beyond that, I'm a bit happy right now since Tosaka said she likes Saber. The day ends. I feel uneasy with Saber sleeping next to me, so I escape to the shed once again. I stop walking and stare at the winter sky. It's not that it's exceptionally beautiful. It just calms me when I blankly feel the coldness of the winter. I don't know how long I did so, but I feel like I hear footsteps from within the darkness. Who is it? There is no reply. The footsteps come closer along with a sharp presence. I lower my waist and prepare so that I can jump back any time. Hey, I'm asking, who is it? There's no reply. The cause of the footsteps appears in front of me without stopping. Oh! At last! Archer, my man, how's it hanging? What? You're... He's the servant that was fighting Lancer that night at school. The red armored knight that Saber beat after she jumped over the wall. You're Tosaka's servant, Archer? The man raises the sides of his mouth a bit. He smiled. So, can I take that as affirmation? Something annoys me. I feel irritated for no reason. Or I should say, I can't get myself to like this guy. I never talked with him, nor has he attacked me. But still, I understand the moment I see him face on. I cannot approve of him. There's no reason for it, but I just can't like him. This is weird. Okay, we... 
Shiro. Shiro, my man, you just warmed up to Ilias Veal von Einsburn, of all people. The woman who, who looked gleefully on as her servant forcefully removed your lungs. <sighs> no, wait, was... Maybe it, the lungs were the alternate universe and it was stomach this time. Yeah, it was stomach, wasn't it? Yeah, the stomach is canon to this timeline. Okay, but... <laughs> Shiro not liking Archer on sight. What the hell is that about? It's just not me. It should be the same for Archer. And there can't be three people in this world who match me so badly. Wait. What? He's someone like that to me, so it'll be no surprise if he considers me irritating as well. What? Weren't you going to confine yourself to keeping watch until your injury healed? Of course I intend to do so. I will end this ridiculous cooperation once my wound heals. That is why I have remained as a spectator, believing that I have nothing to tell you. Oh, don't hold hold back and stay as a spectator. I don't have anything to talk to you about either. As much as I'd like to do so, there's something I cannot overlook. Oh my. It seems you are not letting Saber fight. What's wrong with that? I automatically answer him back. With clear enmity, Archer glares at me. As I thought, it is indeed something a kid like you would think. There is no need for help from the others. I can do everything myself. And on top of that, and on top of that, there can't be any victims, huh? I'm disgusted with that attitude of yours. Wow! Archer! No pulled punches. What? You have no reason to tell me that. I'm just going to do what I believe is right. You have no reason to complain. I have a reason. As a servant just like her, I can understand Saber's troubles. Saber must bear a large burden with a master like you. Partly because of what he said is true. But even more than that, I cannot stand having this guy say it. Don't kid me. I'm not a burden to Saber. I'm going to fight in her place, so that should be fine. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> are you saying she won't get hurt if she doesn't fight? Servants are beings that only exist to fight. It is an insult to deny fighting to such a being. But telling you that won't do any good. After saying what he wants, Archer closes his mouth. 
For a few minutes, Archer and I confront each other silently. Mi minutes? Minute? Minutes? Minute? Okay, I, ho I hope that that's supposed to be moments because just looking at each other all angrily for minutes on end has a bit goofy. I gulp. His cold stare seems to be looking inside me. And suddenly... So, how shall it be, Saber's Master? The Red Knight calmly requests an answer. What do you mean? Do you really intend to finish this war without fighting? Not fighting anyone, not killing anyone, and not letting anyone be killed? I didn't say I won't fight. I'll fight when the time comes. I see. So you won't kill anyone even if you fight. That's right. You have a problem with that? I won't interfere with your overly optimistic thinking. I don't have the time, and I am not that crazy. Archer turns his back. But do not misunderstand. The superhero you are being is no more than a cleaner. Know that the only people you can save like that are the ones that survive. Whoa. Whoa. I wonder why. Those words make me feel like I've been beaten all over. Hold on. What do you mean by a superhero being just a cleaner? You should have realized it already too. Look, your methods will not allow you to reverse a sad event or a miserable death. Those are the limits. A superhero is only someone that tidies up events that have already taken place. You will definitely not be able to save the people you want to save the most. <sighs> so... It's Kuritsugu and Archer here who seem to recognize that Shiro wants to be a superhero. I guess they just have high perception stats. <laughs> Archer can see... <laughs> Archer can see clear across town with fine detail, and he can see right into Shiro's soul, and he can see why kids loves the taste of cinnamon toast crunch. So, yeah. Okay. That's not... true? The hand reaching out to save someone must be able to save that person. An ideal is only an ideal, after all. As long as you embrace that ideal, the friction with reality will continue to increase. The path that you're about to take is of that sort. 
いつか現実に直面しその折り合いのツケを支払う時が来るお前のその選択が多くの命を奪うこともあるだろうよ So you will someday face reality and will have to pay the price for your compromises. That choice of yours might end up taking the lives of many people. What? What? Be at least prepared. When you realize how small you are, decide what you will make right and whom you will punish. それができぬようならその夢もその魔術も今すぐ捨てるのだな If you cannot do so then throw away those dreams and magics of yours right now His back disappears into the night いいか誰が何をしようと救われぬものというのは確固として存在するお前の理想で救えるものはお前の理想だけだ人間にできることなどあまりにも少ない Understand? No matter what anyone does, people that cannot be saved will always exist All you can save with your ideal is the ideal itself That is all humans can do それでも But still おい待てよお前何を言いたいんだ Hey, wait, what are you trying to say? My question vanishes into the darkness. Archer's presence is already gone, and my voice only reaches empty air. What's with him? He disappears after mouthing off like that? To summarize, he was telling me my way of thinking is too optimistic, that I'll only have a painful experience. Can anyone conclude that I'm wrong before I even try? I'm ready. If I'm wrong, I'll just pay with my life. That is the readiness as a Magus. I know that without having Archer tell me. I really can't get along with him. But. But still, I have one concern. No matter what anyone does, there will always be people that cannot be saved. Humans can only do so little. But still. But still. Can I follow that ideal without turning back even once? I muttered to myself. I feel like that's what he wanted to ask me before he'd stopped himself. Huh. Oh boy, Archer was certainly a bit more blunt than I remember, remember him being. He was all nice to Rin, but no mercy for Shiro. I'm going, Shiro. I'll bring you home something, so be good. Futini goes to work, waving goodbye. There goes Best Girl. God bless. I'll get going too. I'll be home a bit later since I'm going by my house. But, but, but I'll be home before dinner. Don't do anything careless while I'm gone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Ren is going to go check on Archer. I feel like she has felt that Archer must be fully healed. That has to be the case by now, right? Sate. Well, the time is just past 7.30. I was able to send them off without delay, so there is only one thing I can do now. No, only one thing to do now. Well, let's continue from yesterday. Let's go to the dojo, Saber. 
すぐに鍛錬を始めるのですか朝食をとったばかりですし少し間を取るべきではないでしょうか Are we starting the training immediately? We just ate breakfast, so should we not rest for a while? 心配は無用だよ。飯の後すぐ動けるぐらいには鍛えてあるし、今朝はパン食だっただろうあんなんで胃がもたれるほど不健康な生活は送ってないぞ。There is no need to worry. I've trained enough to be able to, do,、uh, able to move right after eating, and we had toast this morning too. I don't live so unhealthily that bread sits heavy in my stomach. Oh, Shiro is good to know that I'm not a good person. Oh, if you say it is fine, I do not mind. I'm not a good person. 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 I'm not a good Then there is no problem. Let's go. I'll show you the results of planning all last night on how to hit you at least once. Oh, hopefully, Shiro doesn't have to eat those words. Oh, well, there you go. I'm blown to the ground along with my defending Shinai, not fully able to dodge Saber's counterattack. The hand holding my Shinai is numb. It was a counterattack received after charging into her with all my might trying to overpower her. Naturally, I'll drop my shinai and fall on my butt. But... Damn, I thought that would work. Your judgments are too optimistic. Please Please understand that you cannot defeat a servant even if you put your life at risk in an attack. It is good to have determination, but please consider your opponent first. <sighs> you say so, but I'll be beaten eventually if I'm on the defensive. I have to go on the defense if there's a chance. シローはそのチャンスの生かし方を理解していません。捨て身で仕掛けるのならば、それにふさわしい好機を待つべきです。That is true, but you do not understand how to make use of such a chance. If you are to, to attack risking your life, you should wait for an appropriate chance. 言われるまでもない。セイバー、さっき少しだけよそ見をしただろう。セイバーがそんなヘマをやるなんて、一日で一回あるかないかだから。ここが勝負どころだって踏んだんだが。You don't even need to tell me. You looked away for a bit earlier, right? Something like that only happens maybe once a day, so I thought it was a chance. とっさにその判断ができたのは評価しますが、今のはあえて作った好きです。It was good that you were able to make, make that judgment in an instant, but that was an opening I made intentionally. この程度では動じないだろうと期待して視線をそらしたのですがまさか一直線に踏み込んでくるとは思いませんでした I averted my gaze to see if you would be agitated by it but I would never have thought you would come straight for me なんか人が悪いぞセイバー素人をからかってもいいことないぞ、oh, You're mean It's no good making fun of a beginner からかってなどいませんこちらで仕掛けた策であれ好きである以上は多少のリスクを負います I am not making fun of you Even if it is a plot of mine As long as it is an opening I bear some risk as well もっとも視線をそらした程度のリスクと捨て身で突進してくる指導のリスクは計りにかけるまでもありませんが But then the risk I took averting my gaze and the risk of you you took Coming at me with your life do not even need to be scaled. So the point is to softly attack the small openings? A large swing will miss the opportunity. No, I bet you want to say that I should act according to the size of the opening, right? Yes. Yes, but 
後期の大将の読み分けをしっかりしてください。Yes, so please try to estimate the size of the opening. ですが、昨日よりは格段に、生き死にの境界線には鋭敏になっていますね。危険を察知する感覚が身についてくれば、誰と戦い、何を撃つべきかは、おのずと絞られてきますから。But you are much clearer than yesterday on the line of death. Once you obtain the skill to sense danger, the decisions of whom to fight and what to do naturally become limited. Saber comments happily. If I'm not imagining things, she might be happy that her student has improved a bit. It is almost time to take a break. Should I go and get some water, Shiro? Oh, that's fine. I brought a kettle, so I'll drink from that. I pull my tired body over to the wall. I wipe my sweat off with the towel I prepared and drink the water out of the kettle. I exhale. For three hours since I saw Fujini and Tosaka out, I have been fighting Saber. As usual, Saber doesn't explain anything, and I don't ask anything as we cross swords. It's a match with pretty much no chance of my victory, but my body moves better the more I fight Saber. I'm not hoping to improve my fighting techniques. This is just letting my body, not my mind, get used to battle. But it's still better than doing nothing, and since I don't have anything, I'll be of no use unless I train this one aspect. When the time comes for me to face a master, if I am thinking about how to fight, that'll surely prove fatal. Saber is. Saber is not sweating, as I expected. I feel down, but I won't be able to catch up to her in a day or two. Saber is resting her body, sitting Japanese style like yesterday. <sighs> It's a waste just sitting here absent mindedly. It's break time, so I'll talk to her. Alright then. Oh! These are the other two choices! But this, I, I feel like this one is phrased differently. I don't remember the monkey. Um. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, before anything, let's just drop a save real quick. This is choice number 15? Yeah. Fate choice number 15. So. Hmm. And it has been at least a week since I last recorded and saw these choices. Um. So I'm not sure I'll pick up, pick up on the fact that it's the same, but we can try.、Uh, I want to know about Saber before she became a servant. Before she became a servant. I wonder what Saber was like when she was alive as a human. Saber is so beautiful, and I bet everyone liked her. Though one might misunderstand from the name Saber, she might have been a normal girl who didn't even use a sword. Okay, I think I do remember that. Yeah, I wonder what Saber was like before. I get curious, and I accidentally speak my mind. Hi. Yes? Did you say something, Shiro? Ah, yeah. I'm like 90% certain we've seen this before, so if you don't mind, I'm just gonna skip ahead. I'll read everything just to be sure, but I'm not gonna. Sit around for the voices or read this aloud. Hold on. Well, okay, that. I did. Okay, I made a, I made a cut. 
I cut ahead, and I am like 99% certain that's identical. So, I just skipped it. Before I realize, it's noon. It is lunchtime, Shiro. Yeah, it's lunchtime. We confirm this to each other as both our stomachs growl. Let's eat. Is there something you'd like, Saber? Nothing in particular. I am mostly satisfied with the food you prepare. What do you mean, mostly? Saber's expression is a bit strange. Well, it helps that she's not nagging like Tosaka. Then I'll go get some groceries. I'll come home around the same time as yesterday, so go on ahead to the living room. Yes, I'll be waiting, Shiro. Ah, uh, deja vu. Oh, jeez. I decide to try making shrimp dumpling, which I have wanted to try making for a while. It's a dish that's a bit larger than takoyaki, and it's really hot and tasty. Oh man, takoyaki! I want to try takoyaki. I've never had it. It's like um, it's like some sort of octopus dumpling, like a like a a pastry made with with octopus in it, and it's covered in like a savory sauce. I bet it's incredible. That is my number one most wanted food. <laughs> my number two is balut. And no, I will not uh, explain why. I, I, I just want to try balut. I bought some mustard and also the snacks for the three o'clock tea. I put the groceries into the bicycle cart. Are we, are we gonna make it out of here without seeing Ilya? Okay, is, is, is it happening? Oh yeah. I met Ilya here yesterday. No, don't jinx it! She's not here. And no, it would be a problem if she was here every day, but not having her here is rather disappointing. I haven't told Saber or Tosaka that I met Ilya yesterday. Because Ilya didn't seem like an enemy, I was hesitant to tell her about her, uh, to tell them about her. <sighs> no way. Just because she was here yesterday doesn't mean she'll be here today. Yes, yes, everything's perfectly fine. We can just go home with no incident. So I get on the bike and. Oh jeez, oh gosh, oh man. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, this will be fate choice number 16 already. <laughs> and also the start of part 37, I guess. Wait, would it be part 37? I don't care, well, it doesn't matter. Um, I guess go straight home is go straight home and not keep Saber waiting. And go and visit the park would be to actively look for Ilya. Like, I assume it's the same park but with the child playground. Um, and not like the morose park that the fire happened in. Um... Well, I guess next time we'll pick both options and see what we like more. So, that'll have to wait. For now, very interesting episode. It was it was very exciting to see Archer again. Oh, I missed that guy. He's so cool looking. <laughs> oh, I can't I can't stop thinking about Dante from Devil May Cry. He's he's, he's just Dante. He he just is. I haven't even played a Devil May Cry, but he's Dante. Um, anyhow.
Wait, actually, after I finish this, I should look up which came first. Uh, Fate or DMC? Um, but anyway... Yeah, I'll probably have to re-watch that section and really take Archer's thoughts to heart. I'm, I need to understand them more thoroughly. But for now, he just seems like one big stinking pessimist. <laughs> but, uh... Hmm. Yeah, good stuff all around. Fate still does not disappoint. So, I'm Zephyr the Jester. This has been more Fate Stay Night. I thank you for watching, and hopefully I will catch you next time. So, until then, please take care.